So we know that the heart pumps blood to the whole body. And why does it do that? It does that to bring something out to all the cells of the body. And what is that thing? That thing is oxygen. So the blood that your heart pumps goes and mingles with all the different parts of the body, bringing oxygen to those parts of the body. But what happens when these blood cells out there lose the oxygen, when they've given it all to the body? Well, we know that they're going to turn blue. When they don't have oxygen, the red blood cells now look blue. But are they now wasted? Are we not going to be able to use them anymore? Well, no, that's not the case. We are going to be able to use them anymore. What we need to do is get them more oxygen. And where are we going to do that? We're going to do that in the lungs. So here I'm drawing a pair of lungs. And we're going to take this blood without oxygen, bring it to the lungs, where it'll get more new oxygen. And then what are we going to do? We're going to take that now oxygenated blood and put it back out to the body. So here in the lungs we had these red blood cells without oxygen that are now going to collect oxygen from the lungs. That's the air that you've breathed in and then get pumped back out to the body. So there's a big question here. What's the big question? It's how is this blood moving like this? How is it going in this circle the way we want it to? And the answer is we have some pumps. And I'm going to draw those pumps here. Here's the first pump. This pump is going to push blood through the lungs so it gets its oxygen. But actually before the blood even gets to the pump, we this is the way that your body does it. Your body collects all that blood in a previous chamber, which we're drawing here. So it gathers all the deoxygenated blood, gathers it in a chamber, then puts it into this pump, which is going to push it through the lungs. But once it's gotten through the lungs, we now need another pump to push it back out to the body. So first we're going to collect all this blood coming out of the lungs. Here's the collecting chamber. And then from there it's going to go to the very powerful pump here, which is going to push all this blood back out to the body. Now this is just a cartoon and your body doesn't look anything like this, but these chambers are all real things. And so let's give them names so that we know what they are. So if this is the head of this, you know, strange looking fellow, then I think you'd agree with me that this is his right side and this is his left side. And so the first chamber we'll name is this one and it's on the right side, so it's called the right and it's an atrium, so it's called the right atrium. It's called an atrium, which I'll, I'll write out here, right atrium. It's called an atrium because an atrium is where things enter. So this deoxygenated blood is entering here. Now this one is also on the right side, but it's not an atrium. It's called a ventricle. Ventricle. And the ventricle is the powerful pump. In this case, that's going to push the blood through the lungs to get more oxygen. Now, these two chambers, I think you'll agree with me, are not on the right, they're on the left. And what should this one be called? Well, this is where the blood coming from the lungs is entering. So we're going to call it an atrium also, but it's on the left side, so it's the left atrium. And this one right here is also a powerful pump that's going to push blood through the body. So it's kind of like that guy. So we're going to call it a ventricle, but it's on the left side, so it's the left ventricle. Now, well, you might be wondering... Or maybe you're not, maybe you know the answer. But you might be wondering, what are these weird four chambers that we're talking about here? And the answer is, these actually are the heart. Let me quickly move this, this word, right atrium, out of the way so we have space. So these four chambers actually are the heart. But this is a cartoon because in the human body, they're all scrunched up together and twisted together in kind of a weird way. So now let's look at a picture of a real heart and see how this cartoon corresponds to the real thing. So if we're some deoxygenated blood leaving the body and going to the right atrium of the heart, we're going to go through these two vessels, this one and this one, and we're going to end up in the right atrium. And so that's what this right here is. Now from the right atrium, we go to the right ventricle. So from here, we go to the right ventricle. So that's what this is. Then from there, we're pumped out to the lungs to go get some more oxygen. And so from here, we can see that the way that's going to happen is the blood will go up into this structure and go that way. And also, 
this way. And why is it going both ways? Well, because we have two lungs. And so let's draw those lungs in here. Here's one lung and here's another lung. And once the blood has gotten more oxygen and is ready to feed the body again, it's going to come back to the heart. It's going to come back to the heart, as we saw over here. It's now going back to the heart so that it can eventually get pumped out to the body. So the first place it goes is here into the, now it's getting a little bit uh, messy, but into the left atrium. Then from the left atrium, it's going to go to the left ventricle. That's here. Then finally, from the left ventricle, it gets pumped out to the body. And it's going to do that through this guy right here, which, by the way, is a very important structure, so let's give it its name. This is the aorta. Aorta. It's a really big blood vessel that carries all of the blood out of the heart that's going to go out to the body. Now, this got really messy really fast with all these little arrows and names and such, but hopefully now we have a sense of, of how and why blood is flowing through the heart like this and what the purpose of these all these chambers is. But things are about to get even messier because now, now we want to ask ourselves, what are these black structures here? What are they? Those are valves. And their purpose is to keep blood flowing in the right direction. Now, why is that necessary? Because if we look over at this diagram here, the right ventricle is going to squeeze pretty hard to get blood to go to the lungs. But what's going to keep that blood from just going backwards, right back into the right atrium? Well, what's going to keep it from doing that is this valve right here. And so if we drew that valve in our drawing here, it would exist right in this spot. But that's not the only valve. We have the, this one is one of them, then we have another one that's two, then three, then four. So we have four valves. And each one, they all basically have the same purpose. It's to keep blood flowing in the right direction. So this guy here keeps blood from going right back into the right ventricle after the right ventricle has pushed it out. Because if the same blood that went out came back in, that wouldn't accomplish anything for anyone. Now all these valves have names, and I'm going to draw those names in. And you'll probably want to kill me by the end of this, but these are good names to know. This valve is called the tricuspid tricuspid valve. Actually, you know what, let's draw the names of all the valves in yellow so that we can see a little bit more clearly here. So that's the tricuspid valve. This one here is the pulmonary valve. This one over here is the mitral valve. And finally, this one over here is the aortic valve. And now I'm going to annoy you even more by giving more names to all the vessels that are sticking out of this heart. And so we already named this one the aorta. And let's actually do vessels in green so that we can see that more clearly. So here was the aorta, and that's the huge vessel coming out of the left ventricle, the blood from the aorta goes out to the body, and then it goes back to the heart into the right atrium, and it does that through the inferior vena cava, as well as the superior vena cava. And I'm just going to write VC for vena cava. Now, once it gets into the right atrium, it goes to the right ventricle. And from there, it's pumped out to the lungs. And a descriptive word for lungs is pulmonary. So to go to the lungs, it goes through the pulmonary artery. And so that's what this thing is, pulmonary artery. And then it's going to split into a right pulmonary artery and a left pulmonary artery, but let's not write that in. Then once the blood has gotten its oxygen from the lungs, it's going to go back to the heart and it's going to do that through the pulmonary veins. So we have two pulmonary veins. Here's one pulmonary vein. I'm getting lazy, so I'm just not going to write that out. Pulmonary vein. Again, we have a, a right and a left. 
and then once it comes from the pulmonary veins, it goes into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, back to the body through the aorta. So we're finally done naming things. So that's about it. I hope that I haven't confused you too much with this insane drawing here. Uh, something that might be worth your while is to draw out a little picture of the heart and try to name the structures if you have the energy for that.